Hello, you may be asking why I'm reviewing this, the XC90. I've done this one before. In fact, I've driven it in its T8 variant, as well as its T5 and D5. Well, this 2019 one introduces the new grille and front fascia, as well as some enhanced features. It remains one of my favorite luxury family SUVs. It was 2015 which brought us the introduction of this, the all-new XC90. It was a change for the Volvo brand. The Thor's LED headlights at the front, which gave it the distinctive T-style design, as well as what would prove to become Volvo's new introduction of interiors. The sensor system, for instance, with the central tablet-style layout, as well as a lot in the way of clever technologies. It's also all what would prove to be such a multi-award winner. You see, it was a couple of years back that I first drove the Volvo XC90, and it took the world by storm, managing to rack up awards and world car of the year. Pretty much wherever it went, it was taking the award slots. And now that we fast forward a couple of years and I get back into an XC90, I can see why it remains at the pinnacle within this luxury family SUV segment. So there are a couple of engines available within the lineup and I've spent time driving them. Links to all of those will be down in the description below. But you can have this car as a diesel, the likes of D4 and D5, turbo petrols, and you can have it as the T8 hybrid electric. The one I'm driving at the moment is this, the D5. And what you find with this latest generation XC90, Volvo have stuck to the formula which they've got to this car, the winning formula of its elegant, luxurious, and cutting edge design. It remains fairly similar all around, that's in the cabin and on the outside, but what they've done is added some enhancements and features, the big one being Volvo's on-call services, VOC. So now that I've pushed the button, let's wait for on-call to answer and ask them a couple of questions. Good day, you through to Volvo on call. Lebo speaking, how can I help? Hi, good morning Lebo. I wanted to ask you if there are any restaurants nearby that you could put into my uh, sat-nav system. Uh, certainly. Am I speaking to Jason? Yes, speaking. 100%. Uh, tell me, Jason, um, what are you in the mood for exactly? Um, okay. say, say some sushi. Is there a sushi restaurant nearby? I'm just quickly going to run a search on my side and see if I can't pick up anything there close to you. Thanks so much, Lebo. Okay, how about Ocean Basket? Yes, sounds great. Can you put that into the, um, send the link for the satellite navigation? Most definitely. The Ocean Basket I'm picking up here about 3.2 kilometers away from. Uh, it's on Victoria and Alfred Waterfront Cape Town. Uh, ah, got it. It has gone through on mine? Yes, I've got it. And simple as that. I see I can just navigate straight there. Volvo has always been the first word in safety, and with this being said, the XC90 has been a forerunner within the space. So you find there's a lot going on in the way of standard safety features and systems on this car. The likes of IntelliSafe, for instance, which will pick up cyclists ahead, people crossing, animals that may be in the road. It's all part of Volvo's strategy to make 2020 onwards the year of uncrashable cars. They have introduced and implemented so much in the way of technology and driver assistance features that it not only makes driving this car an absolute pleasure, but an incredibly safe experience for both vehicle occupants as well as further road users and pedestrians out there.
Now there's several options which can be fitted to your XC90 and it just ups the game and makes it an even more luxurious and impressive package. For example, this car has been fitted with a premium pack that's got the heads up display. I've got the likes of heated seats and I've even got a luxury pack here with massaging seats. Beautiful Bose and Wilkins sound and you name it, this car's got it. 360 cameras, blind spot warning assist, it's all been fitted. It's even got this lovely large full length panoramic roof. There is so much in the way of customization to make this car unique, but ultimately it's all in keeping with what this package is all about. The XC90 kicked off in 2015 with what was something rather revolutionary, and it remains truly at the pinnacle within the segment. From me, Jason of Technobock, until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers for now.